You smell that? Did you see it? Apparently y'all did, and oh. I was too busy running my guns. Oh my God, did we just run up on a cloaked? I don't... Okay, so let me film. I'm gonna film you too. Oh. Let me film you guys. Okay, we're, we're rolling. Tate's not cussing anymore. You saw it too. David, oh my God. I'm trying not to blind anybody. Y'all calm yourselves and collect your thoughts. We just had a very extreme incident. Can y'all try to describe it? Two black feet on the ground running toward us. That's all I, I swear. God you know struck what it me, like to me dead. God struck me You dead. know what it looked like to me? It looked like it was right here on, yeah, on the side. side on the side of the trail. side here, and it kind of zigzagged off into the woods and disappeared. It looked kind of like a black rabbit just kind of skittering Two through here. Bam, yeah. bam, 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 behind each other just. Now, I'm, I'm But walking. it was like boom, boom, boom. Now, I'm walking in front of you, right? Yes. This, well, yeah, kind so, of kind of like I, now because I missed this. So you explain to me where it was in proportion to me. Okay. It disappeared right here. Right here. It ran off over through. So there. it was in front of me. Yeah, it ran. It right was here. in front of right me. Here. So it was running. It looked like it was going. And went off into there. Black light. Okay. It's like we ran up on a ghost, and we the bottom half of the ghost, two steps into so the woods. We, you believe. That we ran up on a ghost. A ghost or a, maybe what people believe a cloaked Bigfoot. See, that's that thing. I, I was trying to drag it out of you, brother. <sighs> okay. That's the most scared I've seen Tate in here. I have never seen Tate in this state. And I'm, you know, are you you, ready, are you wanting to be on film? Are you ready to? I mean, the, the, the look that I just caught on Tate, I, I mean, I wouldn't want... I've never seen this look of concern on your face before, okay, ever. So I'm taking it very seriously. And, I don't know what it was. You know, because, just because I didn't see it, don't mean it didn't happen. And it veered off whenever Tate said, "What?" Like the it, it, it honestly ran right at you right here on the side. It off. Okay. And then once it once it got up to you, it just kind of ran off into the woods right and disappeared in this thicket. So I mean, two of them. I saw two. It I like saw two one feet. big one, and it was doing like it like a like rabbit. Feet. It, it, oh, it, oh, it, oh. it literally started right there at the trail and started doing this down the side on David's side. And once it got to David, it went, cut in, and disappeared. So and then that's when we freaked out. Heard it. Right, I'm coming back. To we you. didn't hear. No, I didn't hear nothing. Exactly, it was saw silent. It. Yeah. Well, See, I saw two of them, and it looked like feet, and they okay. were zigzagging, running toward you, and then it cuts off and goes in here. Cutting my life. That's out. why I'm thinking. Did we run up on a ghost, I'm like an apparition, or a cloaked Bigfoot? Whatever it was, was running right at us and veered off. It's almost like you saw two shadows on the ground. Does that make sense? Just moving, like two well, shadows. Uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, look right here, and, I, I, and this is where it cut. Right, I'm, I'm gonna cut my light on so everybody trail. can see. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't, see, right. whenever you, th this is where it gets scary to me because cloaked Bigfoot. Okay. We were just talking about interdimensional beings. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say something about that. The cat's <clears> out, out of the bag, bag. after we were on the Sasquatch, Sasquatch Chronicles podcast yep. and you told your theory. Yep. What if your theory's true? I mean, what if that was a Sasquatch interdimensional demon ran up on us and then just decide to change course at the last minute what did y'all have did y'all have a lot of activity when you crossed the river uh phenomenal activity by crossing the river i don't know the if river. the camera picked it up but there was a lot of rock throwing david what okay. what if the tree bends that we see all right hold on are the dimensions that they run into Hang like on. a door because be. look it's here a, take the camera it went in here oh, it went in here God. You. People yeah, may well, think about we're crazy, but what do what do we have to gain from this? Nothing. Do you get my what I'm trying to say? Oh yeah, I'm almost I'm gonna faint. What if this, what if this with the tree bends over, what if it is a portal? What if your theory's right? Because there's no experts. Who were who are the people out there to tell us that we're wrong? We're here every week. Boots on the ground every week. I'm done with the angle. You okay? <laughs> I just got cold chills. Like, I mean, what if it? What if that is right there? Just opens up for Bigfoot and it vanishes through. And my heart dropped in my stomach when we so ran up on that. About Dave. I want no, to no, 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 no. Re remember what happened to me over there? Mm -hmm. That's what's happening now. I don't have any control over this, and I just know I'm going to fall around, act stagger, stupid. So I want to just kind of. Is this something that you've seen? No. Remember, remember when we get to the to the spot over where the spirit yeah. box activity was. Yeah. Remember how I got loopy and yeah. and and everybody thought it was funny, and and you know was put on. Uh uh, I'm so dizzy, 
I'm so dizzy, nauseated. I know, I know if I stand up and walk, I'm going to do the same stupid tumble crap again. I'm going to throw up. The closer I get to that side, right now, for whatever the reason. <laughs> Why weren't we rolling? <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Sorry, everybody. This is the time, this is the second time I've said this. I've often watched other people film and think that they put on, especially when it comes to the paranormal part of things. But this is the third time on with the same scenario that I have gotten sick and disoriented when we have activity such as this. And uh, that's why your reaction is so incredible to me because I know it was real. And Taylor, I'm impressed because he didn't run. I mean, really, you, you guys. Oh, I backed up. Well, who wouldn't? Um, I didn't have an opportunity because I said I was goofing. Me and but right when you said, what if I was already having nauseation and just yeah. dizziness? And then I thought, he's going to start talking about portals. Yeah. And then you started, what if, David, if this is? And so I want to walk over there and go through it. No. Nah. No. But I got sick. Yeah. So I just, this sucks. What if it wanted, yeah. So here's another theory. I don't feel like going missing. Me neither. Here's another theory. The uh, balls of light, mm -hmm. green lights we see, I wonder if that's them entering this dimension, and then the tree formations are the portals exiting the dimension. I do not know. It's food for thought. But it is very interesting. I'm going to try to get back up. So. <clears throat> well, let me tell you something. I'm good. Like David said, dimensions are real. Yes. Especially for us, because we believe there is a heaven and a hell. And... Uh, I think we need to do something real quick. What's that? I think we should join hands and pray. Heck yeah, brother. Yeah. I'm all for that. So, Oh, our Heavenly Father, we just come to you this time and it's our time of need and ask for you to just shower us with your blessing and your mercy and grace and protect us, Lord, at this time. Uh, we're out here and, and we're moving around in your name. Lord, we, we approach everything from a biblical standpoint. We believe and we understand and know the Bible is real and true. We just pray for your protection against the dominions of hell and what they could do or how they would interact with us. Lord, we just pray that you would touch and shield us and uh, allow them not to enter us in any way, shape, or fashion, Lord. And we don't take anything home that we didn't come with. And that's the love and protection of Jesus Christ. We love you and we thank you for all you do for us. In Christ's name we do pray. Amen. 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 Hey, it's Mike. A little religion stuff, you know, versus belief. Going to do another episode of uh, a year of Bigfoot, which no one's paying attention to, but that's okay. Got to do it anyways. There's someone out there who's got to hear, see this, needs to see this. Um, this is an image. Uh, well, first of all, what you watched was an episode of Sasquatch Watchers. And notice how they are talking about they saw these dark, shadowy feet. And... And could it be interdimension, interdimensional beings, portals, using the trees, etc. This image is some from one of those Bigfoot shows on television of a, a shadow entity that was captured. This is the shadow entity, the two feet and an arm and all that. Interesting with this photo is um, there's more than just one entity in my book. Uh, blow it up, you can barely see it. And so let's just uh, start losing there the what little resolution we have. But there's something right here on the right hand side. You see where the arrow's pointing? Two eyes and the start of this, uh, what do they call it, sagittal crest or whatever. There's the mouth. Yeah, might not be, but I would bet that it is. Because I think there's more than one entity. There always is more than one entity. There's one popping up here. This reminds me of the night that I actually s saw it when it was got to about oh, 15 yards away from me. If And I'm being generous as far as the distance. There's another one right here. You see the triangular shape. Uh, there's interesting right here a shadow entity. There's the two eyes. The domed head. Right here. 
and there's another one actually right here you see the brow line white the two dark eyes and then the face then the mouth but they cannot be can it it has to be and there's another one right here by the way too cannot be they have to be actual f flesh and blood beings right even though the Native Americans and other cultures have been telling us for millennia that these things are not flesh and blood beings but you can't accept that no no that's there's no scientific proof for that well sorry not all things in life you can purely use a scientific method to determine the truth about things and um, sometimes you have to be honest about the fact that what's going on is not what all uh, the experts are claiming now when I saw this th thing uh, that night then I was with that Crow Indian Crow uh, Indian medicine man as he claimed to be who practiced in the dark arts which I didn't know until after the fact because I met him that evening and I've mentioned that the fact of the, the mystic mystical uh, things that were going on in my life and those during that time period was I was in, in researching Bigfoot and I never had a chance to take a picture of the the entity I did get a chance to take some other pictures during the day but most people don't want to accept it because it's popping out of a tree now you know Jesus talks about these unclean spirits and how they uh, don't like dry places and they are more than willing to live in anything they possibly can that has water a tree is mostly made up of water just like a human being is and is a living force is a living life and so uh, why people think they can't and, and dwell these these things uh, I guess all you have to do is you have to go find out for yourself do your own research and come to your own conclusions that's how I see things am I wrong I could be 100% wrong so could you so could all, everyone um, let's see so this is a look look more close up of this entity Once again, there's that uh, big entity right next to it with the two eyes. There's another one with two eyes with the brow. Notice they have the broad brow. Then they have the hairline, the kind of domish or, or head to like ours or whatever. Can't remember the name of the show. And then this one is from something B. Um, what do I? How do I do this? There's a dude that just caught this on a, a trail camera. I will show you the image of the trail camera right now. Then I'll come back and talk some more. That's what I'll do. B trail cams and it's interesting I got it from somebody who I'm challenging whether the images that I have are legit but anyways it talks about this as the trail cam catcher at Bigfoot and then update Bigfoot for missing cameras etc etc four out of eight and so um, you know this is interesting because this guy spends a lot of time actually filming he, he's not he's not like going out his way trying to film Bigfoot he's just filming nature and he ends up uh, catching a Bigfoot he wasn't out looking for a Bigfoot he was just simply was catching uh, images mountain lions and owls and fox coyotes we talk about coyotes I've been really thinking because of a weird thing happened to me when I was young, Gur, when I was in my 20s, and I was at a small pond in a uh, in a, in a uh, metro park where there wasn't a lot of people, and there was this dog that, that 
that was extremely aggressive to me and I thought it was going to tear my head off. Now I think it was some kind of coyote, which it shouldn't have been a coyote. Because back then, we're talking now 20 some years ago, maybe 27 years ago when it happened. I'm 54. At that time, we were told in Northwest Ohio there was no coyotes. And yet, whatever that thing, it more and more reminds me of a coyote with his hair all sticking up and just scrawling. I mean, it was, I think it wanted to just tear me apart. I think the problem was I was in a too close of an area wherever they were. Maybe they had a den of, of coyotes or something. It was close to the pond, and this when I was climbing through this briars and that kind of stuff, and trying to get to this one place that had some fallen logs in the pond, and I thought maybe uh, that'd be a good place to catch some bluegill because I was bluegill fishing, so. And this thing comes out, and if it wasn't for this old rusted out metal fence between me and it, because it was putting his mouth through that metal fence, uh, it would have torn me apart. So, still can't forget that. It was very shocking. I, I mean, it's now coming to my memory now, but I forgot it for like 20 years. It's only now coming to memory. But when it comes to this Bigfoot thing, you know, let's see if we can get to it again. It's Tim. You see, there, there's that, and it's like a shadowy entity. The fascinating thing about this is when I saw the entity that jumped behind those, that fallen tree in the ravine, and there was two of them, and one jumped up, started crawling up the ravine. I didn't, it, it, based on its size and all that, it should have been a huge thud. It should have been boom. You know, if it was a 50-year-old kid that jumped that high over the tree, you definitely would have heard it. If it was a 200-man pound, you definitely would have heard it and probably felt it from my distance. And that thing at this size, now I'm talking that this is 8, 9 feet most likely, you know, it somehow would have been I mean the whole earth should have shook didn't hear any of that and then it started doing that Fred Flintstone thing you know they call it the spider crawl or whatever you know car, you know, creeping up on its tippy toes and its fingers in like a frog like position now I, I will never forget that moment because that was a, a life altering moment uh, there was other moments after that that even got more bizarre in my own place. And then I started filming things popping out of the trees. And so, you know, you tell me. Well, you can't tell me. Either you have to accept it, you either have to experience it or not. And then you have to come to terms with the fact that there is something supernatural, spiritual, dark. And the Bible talks about darkness and, you know, before they let there be light, the, the, the darkness covered or the deep. And these things don't seem to like dry places that much. They like to be somewhere close to where there's water, although they seem to also manifest out of rocks. And so, uh, you know, I don't know. Do you know? I don't know. Everyone wants to say they know, but I don't know. Here's an example of some of the things I capture, like this thing right here, which people will swear at, at, to my, you know, that it's the pareidolia. Well, you look at all the other branches and you look at all the other things going on around, and yet there's an eye right here, and there's an eye right here, and then there's this thing going off, and then there's this, and there's this, and it's there's a face popping out of the damn tree. Now I can't help that that happens. That's what happens. Now, people want to say it's pareidolia, but then, you know, they give examples of artists' renderings of pareidolia, and um, they're never the same as what do we actually capture with a camera. Now, certainly, should be able to, with artists, I know plenty of artists would be able, I, I myself could paint it. So there's, there's the head right there. There's other entities going on in the, Oh, there it is right there. Now, 
Now this is just one of, of, of uh, dozens of images that I was able to capture. Not because I'm anything special, it's just because I captured it. There are a lot of things going on. Where do I go from here? Oh, I know. So, so, so here's an image that I got about an hour, an hour, an hour, an hour before it got dark. And the shadow entities are starting to manifest. There's one right here, which you can't you, you, you look at. But well, I want you to look at this one right here. There's the head, and there's that the big broad shoulders and all that. Now, I know it's real close to a car, isn't it? And it's in, it's it, right near the edge of the woods. This is close to Kroger's and shopping mall. And there's a deep ravine right here for us. And there's a creek running through here. A lot of the trees have died. A lot of weird things have happened to all the places that I first started yeah, filming these things or uh, experienced these things. It's like they went out of their way to make sure to uh, remove all the dead brush and the trees and everything. So, But if you look at this a little closer, this is the entity right here. Now, I'm sorry if it doesn't look like a Bigfoot that you want it to look like because everyone's been brainwashing conditions to think that a Bigfoot should look exactly this way. You know what I mean? Like the Harry and Henderson image type Bigfoot or the Patters Patterson film. But that's not necessarily true. And if, there, and if they are spirits and they're slowly manifesting, then, you know, that's what they are. Now, I can't help that that's what that is right there. <laughs> I can't. And uh, you notice there's different... Uh, uh, I changed the color and some of them. Now, here's one right here that I filmed where that ravine is and here you see the there's the eyebrow right here and there's another eyebrow right here there's the eye right here and there's the head the hairline there's this with this and I saw one a huge one pop out of the tree that had a very leathery looking skin just like this there's pushed the nose and but it's just popping out of the the grass and I accidentally took the picture of it and you can see there's the grass and the blades of grass. This thing is smaller than small. How big is that thing? Half dollar size? Maybe the ounce of a silver coin? I don't know. It ain't that big. And it's popping out. It's, cr it's crook coming out of the ground. I, it's not my fault that it's happening. There's another example of one of these things that's slowly manifesting. It's not a very good image by far, and I understand if you don't accept it. But it's right here. There's an eye right here and an eye right here. There's the nose and the mouth, the chin and the head. And it's just popping out of the ground. And this is the ravine. This is what this is what it looked like, uh, I think, a year or two after they cleared out the tree. And all the shrub, uh, the, the the high grass and everything where these things were living in. Still, there's and, and by the way, this is in the middle of a cemetery too. Uh, here's another example, one of these things, popping out of a tree. And um, I don't know if you can pay much attention to it. Here's here's one. You see here, the mouth is not open. The two eyes. Then there's the two eyes and the mouth open. Now, I can't help with that's what came up. I, I didn't ask for that. It's even weirder than that if you really pay attention to this image. Um, there seems to be something going on here. And this is moved. The hand is moved. And it's not just the shadow of the, the leaves. And where is the hand? There's another one. I have to come back. Maybe I won't be able to find it here. Oh, here it is. See the fingers? One, two, three. There's a thumb right there. There's a hand right here. And then there's a shadow hand right there. Now, leaves don't cause that to happen. Lines like that. Or that. And so they get, it's just weird. I saw a lot of things. A lot of things I never thought I'd ever see. 
a journey in my is a bigfoot and bigfoot research this is an example of an entity popping out of a tree there's the two eyes the mo nose area the mouth the head and let's, let's see what we can find Here's another great example of the heads. Uh, there's the eyes, the nose. You can see the, the iris, the, the dark, and then the white popping out of the trees. And there's more than just one doing that. But I chose this one because it was the most it's, uh, uh, noticeable. Also, on top of that, then he had this damn thing with its two eyes and its ears and its head type thing. Popping out of the tree, I didn't ask for that, and that's not my imagination. You can say it's pareidolia all you want, that's that's fine, but it's, you're going to have to prove that, and you're not going to be able to prove it. You can use anything you want to do, you know, to try to prove it, but the only way, neither you believe or you don't, that's what it comes down to. And if you don't believe it, I understand, and, you know, if you do believe it, I appreciate it, and I'm amazed that you do. So, and so things don't happen the way you they, you expect it. They should happen, right? You know, I am starting a new uh, Facebook page. I don't know if anything's going to happen from it. Uh, uh, Northwest Ohio Bigfoot, Bigfoot Research. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. What I'm really hoping is I could. Uh, talk to some people who have similar experiences you know what I mean affirmation maybe I don't know but there's the head right there there's an arrow point where the head popping out of the tree there's different uh, lighting contrast and color coloration and it's still the same thing it is not pareidolia there is literally a head popping out of the tree there's an X right here that's on the other side of this fence I believe it is I know it is from the highway and it's now it's been there for three years four years now and five years and it still hasn't gone away I noticed I drove by and it still X's there there's a little more dead trees and all that along this this fence line and then there's a highway right here this ridge now me and Eric we went when I still had an ability to walk four years ago into this ravine that hardly everybody goes into and film some interesting things not just tree stru structures but interesting images I wonder if I can find one of those interesting images let's see what would be one of them I mean, there's a lot of them but finding one is mine yeah I understand there's a lot of things that are, are, are hoaxes for say and there's other things that aren't I know I didn't hoax my things nor is it do uh, nor could you convince me uh, that uh, it's just pareidolia or that it's just my uh, imagination or I'm being delusional no, you can think that and you have every right to think that but as far as I'm concerned what I experienced it was real and there's not much that uh, it's gonna change that where the heck is that image so anyways when I'm looking for this is this, this thing crawling up that ravine and of course that Native American dude he does that holler and stuff and then he throws, you know, I, I, I offer him some pizza earlier. He has a couple pieces of pizza in his hands. And he decides to throw those pizzas at that thing, which then caused that, you know. <laughs> I was so pissed off. I said, damn it, now that thing's going to come to my house. Sure enough, things started coming to my house. Here's an example of daylight and red supposed eye shine. There's one eye, there's another eye. 
Now you can try to explain it to me all you want and say it's just some kind of artifact from the sunlight. Fair enough. Or that's we were having supernatural things going on in that ravine that day. And you know what? That there was something else going on. There's a red eye shine and here's this one entity popping out of the tree and notice it's a triangular thing going on. And I just now noticed that, but there's the eye, there's the eye. I expect you to think I'm crazy until you go through all this, until you start finding this. You have every right to think I'm crazy. And at this point, I think you're crazy to think that this is some living being that we haven't been able to c capture or, uh, or kill yet. There might have been some, there might still be some living things. So the vast majority of these things are, you know, when you look at orbs associated with it, supposed UFOs or unidentified, uh, you know, flying this, that, and the other. And then these things are around it. And, you know, I, I don't have any, re I, I, I don't, I'm not going to apologize to you. You can call me whatever you want. It's, you know what, what's the difference? It's just, you call me names. It's not like it hasn't happened before in my life. And it's just because you have issues. That's why you're going out calling, calling people names. Here's one of these. Uh, in the middle of the day, I couldn't see a thing. This thing couldn't be more than 15 yards away from me once again. Probably more like 10 yards away. In the, in, in, in a grove. And it, uh, you've seen this before, but there's the eyes. If you look closely, there's the head. There's this, you know, blurry hand thing. There's some of the eye shine. And, and it's like it's moving or going all over the place I'm sorry there's it it's this there's part of it right there the black there's part of the black right there and I can't help it that it happened there's another one example of one that popping out of a tree and you can see the um, it's weird because it's almost like this is which one are the real eyes is it this eyes or is it this eyes <laughs> there's the nose and the mouth there's his head you know, I'm starting to wonder if these really. I've had a theory for quite a while that big this thing called Bigfoot is actually a, a, an amalgamation of different entities, the spirits. This is a very blurry one, of course, because we're dealing with spirits. But there's one right there. You can see the nose, the mouth, the eyes. It had being blurred by other things. And it's just they, they live in the shadows. And I my theory is a lot of these wars. Here's another one of these entities that I captured right here. You can see the the the, the head, the eyes, the brow, the mouth, the shoulders. It just kind of drooping his head, looking like his his hands drooping. But what's weird is when I First, it was looked like a dog man type thing, right? But it's, then it slowly turned into this thing. So, uh, this is a very strange photo that I have to do a drawing on because there's more than one entity there. And there's some entity with like breasts. Now, some of these things are not like this one. Somebody, this is, I think, is a fake. So, I'm not saying all things are real that we see is this one of the fake ones I'm going through the myth. this one some people say is fake it was fake um who knows did they think what did they do the when i think about patterson film and all that and uh that i really believe that there was some kind of satanic demonic ritual and blood sacrifice that allowed these things to manifest that's my personal opinion am i right about it i don't know i don't know now this the, the guy that did that i can't think uh, i've 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 whatever his name is he, he and his wife his wife says that they faked it and you know I'm not surprised that they they didn't fake it I 
A lot of people fake things. This is that one documentary that they're down in. Um, so this is one of my images in the tree lines. And I noticed that they like to spend a lot of time in the edge of the forest. Or you can catch the pictures of these things if you open your eyes. And the edge of the forest. Um, especially where uh, there's ravine water trees. And there's people. Like uh, and where there's dumpsters and restaurants and all that kind of stuff. Now, I don't know. Do they manifest at night and then decide to... Uh, go and eat the, the, out of the garbage. I don't know. They do seem to do a good job of not uh, throwing the garbage all over the place. They're a lot cleaner than you and I are. So I don't know if that that could be true. This is one of those boogers in the east of Texas that uh, M.K. Davis found. What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. So anyways, I'm trying to... to uh, show images of or you know I'm trying to re-upload some of the the, the the videos I did five years ago this is when uh, the other day Saturday I barely had no strength but I did it I went to the uh, cemetery and had a little ritual and dropped off some of my hair around my parents and my niece's some gravestone now I'm going to just point out something. I'm not saying this is the case. But I'm saying this is in this particular picture. But if you want to start looking for these things. You need to start looking at the shadows like here. I'm not saying that's a Bigfoot or, or a tree bug or anything like that. But that's where you're going to find them. And some are like here. You need to look you know, over here. Where is there's the shadows? In this picture is there a tree booger? I don't know. I don't think so. And in fact, I, I, it, it, there's nothing to convince me that there is one in this one. And with the time of day, the lighting, and which these things are not able to manifest. Of course, this this kind of looks like one, but I actually I think it's a shadow tree branch. Not everything, obviously, is a Bigfoot. Or a tree spirit. And I can tell you that you can experience these things. You don't have to do it at night. So here's a great example of where you might find the, these and how these things it somehow manifest and you through through the life force of these like this this raspberry thing going on here. You know, this briar bushes and and and, and raspberries and and that kind of thing and trees. And this is what the ravine looked like all the way through when that tree fell over. And then they, they cleared it, most of it out. <clears throat> this is, oh, I gotta look at this thing. I'm not saying for sure yet what I'm looking at here. But something's going on right about here. And this is, I captured this over by uh, in a ravine that goes, this connects to the the stream down the road, down uh, the, um, as it goes down to the to Ten Mile Creek, and there's something going on here. This I capture this in the middle of the day. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying you know, people say oh, that's big, big, that's just pareidolia. Oh. You know, I'm not saying that it's Bigfoot or it's not pareidolia. I'm saying there's something there. I'm just looking. I need to look a little deeper into some of these pictures. The example where you're going to find them is in the shadows. And of course they would be. Because they, they have been here as long as we've been here. But we there's no, you can't, there's no way, no way it could be. You know, that's against science. Scientism is if it's some kind of religion. Science, science. So this would be a great place where you start seeing these things manifest. Right in here, in the shadows, right in here. And they can be that close. They can be literally, you know, 10, 20 yards away. 
And there ain't nothing you can do about it. It's either accept it, embrace it, or not. I mean, there is something there. I could, it's not very clear at all. But you can see the head, the eyes. There's a dark band of eyes. The mouth, ear, and the head. But it's not very clear. So, now, maybe it's not Bigfoot. Maybe Bigfoot has nothing at all to do with that. There's something going on here. And here's the thing. You can try to blow it up. I hear people, you know, you can blow it up. <clears throat> and you're not going to be able to get good resolution out of it. You're just not going to get any good re You're not going to be able to. And you're just going to have to come to terms with the fact that we're dealing with something spiritual. And if you don't want to, then you'll never, ever, ever realize what's going on. Now, here's this head of this Bigfoot. This is a big old Sasquatch type looking entity. You can see the eyes. There's the, the ridge, the, you know, the brow ridge. Then the cone, the pushed in nose, the dot, the mouth, the white beard and all that. And you see this. And then if you look here. And there's an entity right here, a ghoulish entity. There's mouth, the nose, the two eyes. And it has breasts. Man is step manifesting out of the tree. <clears throat> and it's almost like it has like, uh, here's like, uh, it's like black. You see the black around it? And you're like, where the hell is it? Why is there black there? And why isn't all of it black? There's a lot going on in this tree, if you believe it or not. And there's an entity right here. You can see an eye right here, and it's going up. There's something else going on here. It's like a totem pole. I think a lot of these things, they uh, manifest like totem poles. I think that's where a lot of the true inspiration with all these new totem poles came come from. It's not just animals. But how do you... But, you know... You, uh, you know this whole idea... Of, Hiding things in plain sight where you convince people that you're looking at coyotes and wolves and eagles when really you're looking at spirits. And the spirits don't look anything like the coyotes and the wolves. But if you, if you told people the truth about it, well, first, it's just like everything else. Uh, you know, they're not going to believe you. They're not going to believe you until... <clears throat> It's just like what Jesus said about the Pharisees and Sadducees. You know, if they won't believe Moses and the prophets, why would they believe you if you come back from the dead? They're not. Either you believe it or not. So, so this is another part of this, the year of uh, living with Bigfoot. But, you know, there's more to all this. And I just, how do I go about this? I do need to discipline myself to write this down, but it takes a lot of energy just to do this, to be honest with you. So, But it was weird. What a weird two year, two years, 2017 through 2018. The things that I saw, witnessed, and I filmed. And to know the truth about these things, and, you know, it's a pearl great price to share with people. But most people, most people are not, not going to want to know that these are uh, spiritual entities. And the bare minimum you should know is that this, the, the, the woods, the trees, it's full of this stuff. And that you need to pray up before you go in the woods, regardless of what you're going to do. Whether it's to go shrooning or to go hunting or just go for a hike. You need to pray up and stay focused on God because I'm telling you. These things are waiting for any opportunity, not only to scare the li living dickens out of you, but to get in you. And I know a lot of people will disagree with me. That's fine. This is not fine at all, because there's a lot of people who are going to suffer because of it. But I can't, I can't prove people. I can't prove something to people. There's a lot of things you can't prove to people by simple words on paper. Or images, or or tales. Um, you're just gonna have to go find out for yourself. And I haven't shown you all the images. I just 
don't even know what to do about it. So, I mean, if you're not going to believe what I'm pointing out now, I don't know what the point is of showing the other ones. So. You're going to try, go all the way, otherwise don't even start. If you are going to try, go all the way. This could mean losing girlfriends, wives, relatives, jobs, and maybe your mind.